Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review the Mad Max of zombie movies, Wormwood, Road of the Dead. Directed by Kia Roche-Turner, written by Kia and Tristan Roche-Turner, starring Jay Gallagher and Bianca Brady, Wormwood is about a talented mechanic, Barry, whose life is turned upside down when he loses his wife and daughter to the zombie apocalypse. We're gonna spoil this whole thing. If you haven't seen it, please go and watch it before watching our review, which I know this it renders our review useless. Consider this just like us talking about the movie. What do we like about this movie, guys? There's always like some gritty nature about Australian films and it's just killer. Especially for a post-apocalyptic zombie movie that's like yeah. kind of like a Mad Max style zombie movie is pretty fucking cool. I agree. A movie that's too clean, it distracts from being a zombie movie. Yeah, it comes off as being too manufactured. Like, yeah. this feels like you're in the rough. Bad shit's happening. You gotta make do with what you have. Anything that they use as far as armor is concerned, like, it's all worn, it's all fucking tattered. It's pretty sick. Which brings me to, like, how they shot this film. It made it so intense because a lot of the times we're getting that, like, rush to the characters. We're getting that up close and personal with the zombies. It feels like I'm living it. When they're in the car and they're trapped in the car, you feel the outside of it and how big it is with the forest, but you're also like claustrophobic, you know, with close up shots. Like it's just so perfectly done, a great balance. I really enjoyed it. I think the overall aesthetics, as far as how the characters looked, how they used their weapons, like how the zombies looked, everything just looked fucking really dope. Extreme dopeness in uh, the aesthetics area. I really enjoyed the look of the zombies. It was a little different than you usually see because their faces were getting deformed a, a little more. Because they're affected by the yeah. gas, it makes sense because it's more of a transformation instead yeah. of like a resurrection, which was really cool. Yeah. They didn't over explain. They're like, your blood type is A negative, so you're yeah. immune. It's like, okay, that's enough explanation we need. And to play up that immunity, to have people not turn and be able to fend off the zombies without breathing stuff in, was a cool take. I think it was a really smart choice as well as far as the story standpoint is concerned because you know the people without masks are the good guys and the guys with masks are the bad guys mm -hmm. and then the guys who look like zombies are zombies. And there's like a kind of another tier to it because you even get that idea that the guys with the masks are doing a job. They're kind of more bigger picture. The characters, I see their motivations, I understand it, they're just getting through it, you know? They, they were likable. What's nice about this one as well is the human interaction and how when new characters show up, they help each other out. They don't pat each other down. And what I really enjoyed was characters were disposable. You liked them, mm -hmm. you got attracted to them, but you honestly didn't know who was going to survive or not. I enjoyed the humor. Barry had a couple of moments or whatever where he would crack a few jokes, but Benny was the comic relief. Is he alright? Is he okay? What do you fucking think? He's pretty fucking dead to me. Oh, he said fuck! Another awesome thing about this movie is the fact that we got something completely unique, which is controlling zombies with telepathy. We got that from Brooke, played by Bianca Brady. She got like syringes of zombie blood in the back of the neck and could control zombies. How fucking cool is that? The overall makeup and special effects in this film were top notch. There was lots of headshots in this film. All the squibs they probably had or even like the visual effects, just everything blowing up looked real and looked great. Yeah, and what's great about it too is I didn't know if it which ones were special effects <laughs> yeah, and yeah. which ones were visual effects. Just the power of the kills, it had this like energy behind it, which I love. I think that's a testament to how well the cinematography was done yeah. with like yeah. the very intense looks mixed with the sound design and the overall like look and feel and how everything was composited. I think they did a stellar job with executing zombies. What don't we like about this film, guys? The main thing that I didn't like, and this is very nitpicky, the focus continued to shift between multiple things, multiple times. It would constantly like go in and out of focus. And the moment I noticed it, which was very early on, it didn't stop throughout the whole movie. And I think that was the biggest distraction for me in this whole thing. I found certain aspects in the story were a little weak. The part that kind of bugged me that I felt out of place was the fight at the end with the captain, because there was wasn't that real build up towards that hatred? It's a 
pointless, cool-looking fight. But without any meaning, it loses all aspect to whatever development you have in the story. Also, we were missing something to really tie and make everything tighter would be, what's the motivation behind these, like, army guys, I guess we can assume? Right, yeah. They were just too aggressive right off the bat. Yeah, there was no, like, discussion. It's like, no, grab her and let's take her blood. A and little line of dialogue could have helped it. Yeah. And there's no guarantee they were making a cure. For all we know, they were making super soldiers. Right. <laughs> or they were just getting more fuel for their tr big-ass truck that they need to fill. Yeah, there was just one, like, sentence that was just out of the movie mm -hmm. that we needed. It's time for our final thoughts and ratings. This movie was great. There is nothing I could really say that was wrong about it other than a few story points, but I could look past it because I really enjoyed this movie. It is a great film and I highly recommend that you guys go out and watch it, especially if you're a zombie fan, because this just hit it out of the park. And that being said, I'm gonna give this five medical beers out of five. This movie was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It kept me interested. I was devoted to watching this movie. I want a zombie movie like this all the time. Not overcomplicated, good acting, good effects, good direction. Story could be a little tighter, but it doesn't matter because when you're enjoying a movie so much, you're not nitpicking on this stuff. So I'm gonna give this four and a half harpoon bullseyes out of five. Fuck me. Bullseye. This was one of the best zombie movies that I've ever seen. From the acting, to the pure gritty aesthetics, and all of the unique choices that they made from using zombies as generators to airborne wormwood diseases and the, their whole explanation for the wormwood. This was just stellar throughout. There were small, minor plot points that I didn't care for, but this was still very, very solid all the way through. I'm gonna give this four and a half Mr. Freeze bustin' moves out of five. As always, thank you for watching and thank you for recommending. We love your comments and a lot of you recommended this last week when we watched Blood Soaked and this was honest a super unique zombie movie and we couldn't ask for better so we will not request another zombie movie in the comments below but leave one with your thoughts on the movie if you haven't already but I'm pretty sure you have please subscribe